All right, so welcome back, people, to MG Sports TV. I'm glad to have you back again. So we're going to touch on the last game of the group stages for the CONCACAF U20 Championship. Tough. It's tough. But um, the work carry on, work, the work goes on, you know. We know it's tough, but the players have to go out there and showcase that, you know. We still have something to fight for. We still have something to fight about. Quite an interesting one. Really, really interesting one. Minus 12 goal difference. Can we get a third place pot to take us through? Ah, quite difficult. Anyways, please do hit that like button if you're, you know, uh, regular to the channel. If, you, if you're just joining, would really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. Um, share the video if you want or if you can. Would really appreciate it if you do so. No, no, I really want to say that um, so far this competition has really, really been on. Should I say on um. I've been unimpressed. I've been unimpressed with this, with with, um, with what I've been seeing so far. But the coach is speaking that you know there's improvement. Um, maybe the improvement that we saw was basically the quality of the team. So you know, we're not playing against a USA, we're playing against a Costa Rica. USA probably technically said USA is ahead of Costa Rica, so the level would have to drop. So basically, we put out the same effort like we did versus USA. It's just that. Um, Costa Rica is not as good as USA, but that USA game they really, really ripped us apart. Then I watch a Costa Rica game, and I have to say that we look, we actually look a little bit better. As I said, the quality factor um, can come into play there, but I do believe that there is a lot of work for us to do. Um, this game now versus Cuba, Cuba hasn't won any game as yet, and we can't let them. We can't be the, the first case of a win. <laughs> we can't. We, we really. We can't allow that. I, I don't think we, we should really allow that we are their first win. They they lost to um USA. They lost and they lost and they, they drew to they drew with um Costa Rica. But the thing is, the mere fact they drew with Costa Rica goes to showcase that you know what they can stand up to Costa Rica. We didn't drew to Costa Rica. That makes it now a bit more complex and I should say also complicated. Because by you know, we all understand that um football is played on the day. But if you're not up to par, why? No matter no matter what you think, boy, football I got paper on paper. So logically, Costa Rica drew with they drew with um Cuba, Nilal. And Cuba also and Cuba lost to USA. I think about like three or four. I don't remember. And from that, it goes to show say, technically, or logically speaking, they are better, they are or they should be better than us. Should be. Yeah, four nil. They lost the last USA four nil. Same USA that gave us nine. And same Costa Rica team that gave us um um three. They drew with Costa Rica, actually scored on Costa Rica. We couldn't. And they lost to USA. And I, I think it was a good showing versus USA. Two goals in the first half, two in the second half. Or other than us, who scored, can't see four in the first and five in the second. So logically, logically speaking, they should be better than us. Now, I do hope that um, we see a much improved performance versus Cuba. Um, I would really, really want to beat Cuba <laughs> just to straighten our chances. I know people are going to come and say, well, MG deluded. Um, this, that, you know, the regular stuff where people are just about me. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter me anymore. I mean, I'm not going to tell anyone how to support their team. I, mean, I, won't, I, won't, I won't tell them that. But, but how I support is in the Delulu land. That's how I support. Because at the end of the day, I have to give my support. I have to support the players. They are wearing the badge. They are wearing the shirt. Uh, and they are out there playing hard. They're, even if you deem, that, deem them not good enough or what, they are still out there representing. Um, if anything, if you take out the frustration on the JFF, not, not the players. I, do, I don't think it's right 
um, for, for well, I, my personal opinion, I don't think it's right for um, the supporters taking out their frustration on the players. Um, they are not the one who put themselves out there under the circumstances. So for me, um, I just want to see, I just want the team go out there to give a proper, proper account of themselves. I do think that there's areas where coaching is concerned that Jerome Wade has to fix up and get certain things right. And the defense were just a little bit too loose. Even though see, the goals are concede, um, one uh, can't see, probably can't say a goalkeeper error. The next one, brilliant cross, brilliant finish. I know the first one scored on a penalty, but they did get quick, um, quite a few opportunities, and Joshua Grant had to turn up really, really big to keep us into the game. Um, nevertheless, um, I do think that. We might, we might go there putting a better, better showing than that we have done so far throughout the campaign. It's very important that we do so. Uh, we have to drop a sacks. At some point, we have to drop a sacks. If I'm being honest, I'm unsure we're going to win this game. I think we might draw the game based on the fact that it's, it's not clearly evident that we are the fourth, um, the fourth best team in the group. But if we finish with a win, it would put us in third. And maybe that could be a false sense of security as well. It could be. It could be. But I'm 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 really hopeful still. I'm 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 very hopeful that we can we can do something. If I should go into our starting lineup, I think that the starting lineup we see the other day will be quite similar. Let me just run back through that starting lineup. Um, I think it, it should be quite similar. If I should go and predict the starting lineup. Um mm, so the start starting lineup is technically Think something of a 4 3 3 would, would I use? Um, Ian's right in the left back, Javin Williams and Bolt Bar to a center back, Granger right back. <clears throat> Reed and Welch in the midfield, Dustin Cohen on the right, Gibbs on the left. Okay, so it's actually a 4 4 2. I thought Gibbs were playing more like a central midfielder, Cohen was playing more like an, um, a winger. Um, Reynolds and Watson up front. For me, I don't think that would change much. Um, just Welch coming out. This is not a good opportunity, probably. I think I'll put Romain Blake in the central midfield position um, to sit uh, 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 as a as a deep the, the deeper player, the CDM. I think I'll, I'll include him. I'm alone to play beside beside Reed. I think that wouldn't be bad. I think this is actually a more attacking lineup still. Um, the one that he went in the last game. Will we see that versus Cuba? He went a bit more attacking in the game versus USA. Maybe at many would say that probably it's a little bit more balanced, but this game went a little, little bit more attacking. Ah, the only change I would technically say, oh Watson, actually Watson, Watson. I don't think Watson will be able to play. So Watson is out as well. Um, Ashton Garden, I think, will come in. I think Ashton Garden will come in. Um, Ashton Garden coming for for Watson. I think Adrian we went down. Well, I, I'm not, I'm not, I think if Adrian Reed is not fit to play, um, we might see Big Nell come in. Quite an kind of quite an interesting one. Um, but anyways, a tough game ahead. <laughs> a really really tough game ahead of us. Uh, it will be really really interesting to see if the team can come out and put out a performance something that i would say represent them i uh, represent themselves well it'll be really really interesting to see that um I, I really don't want any campaign on such a bad bad note so i want i want any campaign just with some respect and some level of dignity but we'll see what go prediction my head my head is saying a draw, maybe a one-one draw. But my heart is saying a one, probably a one nil or two-one win. I would, we seem to can't, can't um, stop, stop conceding. A twelve goal we can't see now. Twelve goal we can't see in the two games now. That rough. So um, maybe two-one. My my heart is saying two-one. That's your supporters, just strictly the Dululu supporter. But I don't mind. Um, my head is saying one-one. So we'll see how the one go.
Definitely say, but hold on, we don't score no goal either. Jeez. Can't see 12 zero goals scored in two games. Whew. That's horrible. That's horrible, horrible, horrible. Anyways, tell us what you think in the comment section. Smash the like button, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys again. Until next time, MG Sports TV. We're out. God bless. Boom. I mean.